Hi, my name is Carl Valeri with the Polk State College flight team. I'm the coach and today in this video we're going to interview one of the members of the team. This is the first in a series of videos uh, meet the Polk State College flight team videos. Do me a favor, check out our website. It's called the Polk State College flight team .com, and in there you can look at all the different things that we have going on throughout the year, our practices and also how you might be able to donate to the team. I really appreciate your listening so let's go talk to Mike Pavlik uh, one of the newest members of the Polk State College flight team. Hey, Mike, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good, good. Hey, uh, Mike, first of all, tell us a little bit about what your role is with the team, and then we'll go in a little bit uh, about your background. Uh, so I just started as the secretary of Polk State flight team, um, trying to get up to date on all the rules and regulations for the NIFA competition and help uh, distribute that information to the team. Great, and there's another kind of role that uh, is, is important is with SALO, and that's the Student Activity and Leadership Organization where you have to keep track of all the, all the requirements that need to be met for that. Yep. So tell us a little bit about yourself, maybe start with uh, you know, where you're from and, uh, and what degree you're pursuing. I'm originally from San Diego, California, and uh, I moved to Florida after my enlistment in the Navy. Um, and I joined Polk State, uh, utilizing my GI Bill and pursuing my pilot's license. So the um, so that GI Bill is helping you pay for your degree and also your flight training. Yep, the GI Bill is covering from here on out. I just got my private license, so from here on out, the GI Bill will cover most everything. Well, congratulations. So uh, so let's talk a little bit about what you did in the military and the Navy. So. Um, what did you do? What was uh, your specialty, say, in the Navy? Actually, my specialty was uh, computer boards, repairing computer boards. Um, my secondary was HF communications and repairing those radios, but um, I spent the majority of the time actually soldering components and computer boards. Well, HF radios, that'll help you at the airlines. You'll be using those quite often there, yeah. especially when flying over overseas. Yes. Have you ever been somewhere that most people in the U.S. haven't been? What's the most unique place okay. you've been in the Navy? Uh, I went to, I've been a lot of places. I think I've been to over 23 countries, but uh, my favorite place was Korea. I went to Korea. Why is that? Just the people were friendly and it was, it wasn't so foreign. It was kind of, you know, kind of westernized, but uh, yeah, I think Korea is my favorite. My second favorite was Guam. Yeah. And you know, there's a handful of others. So, so why Polk State? What made you choose this college? Well, I, w I was actually over at Hillsborough Community College, and um, I was just pursuing an associate's degree, and I found out about Polk State and the flight team or the flight program here, and uh, decided to to come over here. And it's also closer to my house, and you know, I live three miles from the airport, so it's very convenient. All the stars align. Yep. After uh, after Polk State and you get your degree and all your licenses, what what's your goal? What's your plan? Uh, right now, I'm kind of torn because I'm very much a, a fan of a work you know work life balance. So I'm torn between just trying to be a career CFI and going as far as I can and you know as an instructor, or finding a small charter operation. I'm not sure that I would go, you know ever go to like commercial airlines or even commercial cargo operations i don't know that i would do that but so still just to be a professional pilot and yep. uh, so as far as you're the first time here at the team you join the team tell us a little bit as to what made you come here to join the flight team well i wanted to join because right now with the, with the coronavirus and everything it's very hard to get any sort of like networking or you know sense of community and uh i figured joining the team would help me being completely new to aviation it helped me branch out into the aviation world and establish some some uh community there and networks and that sort of thing actually when i joined it, i had no idea it was about a comp you know there was a competition involved i just thought it was a flight team for the school i didn't understand that there was something to compete for <laughs> so that's cool <laughs> yeah but now you've learned a lot about that as a matter of fact something that's really interesting is, is your first year and you now are in a leadership role 
Yep. That, that's pretty unique. You know, going back to your experience in the Navy, do you feel that that possibly would have prepared you for either school or the team? Is there anything that you learned in the Navy that you could actually use in this environment? You know, the one takeaway I could say I got from the Navy was that I can apply to this environment is uh, when people are trying to help you and they can't make it obvious, you just got to trust them, you know? So people are going to tell you exactly what you need to do, but you're, you're going to fight yourself mentally thinking that there's more to it and there's not. They're telling you exactly what you need to do and you just need to take it with it. That goes for, you know, the teachers, every, every uh, professor I have, you know, they tell you, they give you an assignment and this is the rules for the assignment. And you don't need to go more. You don't need to do less. That's what you need to do to make them happy. And you'll get your good, you'll get your grades. And it's not even about being a hundred percent correct all the time. So it's just about trying. And that I think when people are trying to help you, just listen to what they're saying. That's what I got out of the Navy because you have some good mentors on your end, and you have some bad ones. But the good ones are just trying to tell you basically the easiest way forward so that you don't stress yourself out. Interesting. Great perspective. Anything else about yourself you want to tell us before we kind of cut off here? Hopefully hopefully I can help bring the team to a win this year. I mean, that's what we're here for now. (laughs) (laughs) That's for sure. Well, thanks for talking to us. I appreciate it. And uh, we're going to look forward to working with you as uh, the secretary of the team. And we're speaking with Mike Pavlik, who's secretary of the Polk State College flight team. And uh, we'll be competing his first Uh, year this year first time this year also just finished his uh, private pilot's license on to his instrument rating thanks again for talking to us all right thanks well thanks again for watching this video the polk state college flight team meet the team video if you get a chance do me a favor visit our website polkstatecollegeflightteam.com you can see other videos and all the other things that we're doing with the flight team you also can look to the side and you'll see a donate button and actually the donate button will be at the top of the screen really appreciate anything that can help us out it goes directly to the students and to their actually practicing and getting ready for the competition this year. Uh, The competition is actually going to be on March 8th, getting ready for the regionals, but uh, really appreciate your listening. We'll talk to you in the next episode on Meet the Team here at Polk State College. Carl Valeri, coach of the Polk State College flight team. Talk to you next episode.